In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to apply a very simple cant to a horizontal alignment. Okay, so I'm going to set my horizontal alignment active. I'm going to create new. Change the type to cant. Okay, and once it's created, see that now we have a cant that is a child of our horizontal alignment so we want to go to geometry super elevation cant editor when this opens you can see that our active horizontal alignment and our cant alignment are set but there are no values so we can select define all and this is how we define our cant alignment when defining a cant we have different methods that we can use to determine the cant upon creation. We can use uh, equilibrium equation, <clears throat> which will calculate cant values based on uh, being the design speed, the equilibrium constant, and the applied constant that are down here in these values. Uh, we can also use alternate design speed. <clears throat> we can look up cant from a table. This uh, cant table is an ASCII file. And that ASCII file has two columns. Uh, one is going to be for radius values, and the other is for cant. So it looks up the correlating uh, radius value for the curve um, that you're in and applies the cant. And we also have the station speed and cant table. Uh, that is another ASCII file that can be used. <clears throat> we can use cant from horizontal alignment. So if you uh, are going through your horizontal curve calculator, uh, you can apply you can apply cant to your horizontal curves, and this will define cant from that. Uh, we have not done this on this alignment. We're just going to end up using uh, equilibrium equations. So we're going to hit OK, and you can see that it creates uh, based on our our different points in our horizontal alignment. Uh, for like our start of our spiral, it gives us our radius our, our uh, radius of zero uh, to begin. And it gives us an applied cant of zero for our uh, start of our spiral. And then we come to the, the spiral to curve point. Uh, our radius is now negative 600. And we have an applied, con an applied cant of 475. And that 475 is maintained throughout this curve. So if we want to make edits to this cant, we can come in and we can highlight and say edit. We can edit the values to which we want this to be specified. We can change design speeds. Uh, we can change or define uh, our applied cant. So if we want to change that to 450. And as you can see that as you change that value, it actually changed the cant calculation results at the bottom. So when you hit apply and close, you'll see that out here our applied cant has now changed to 450. Okay, so we can hit apply and it's going to save our cant to our alignment. Okay, so we have a profile that's created uh, from a previous example, and we're going to annotate this profile to show that you can annotate your cant values, um, similar to super elevation uh, for roadway design, onto your profile. So we're going to evaluation profile annotate. Okay, so in this, I'm going to be annotating station values. Um, the curvature, deflection, slews, uh, rail elevations, cant alignment. So we're going to hit apply. And as you can see, if we scroll down here, uh, our cant at the bottom, this is our cant alignment, and it shows similar to a super elevation diagram. Uh, so it gives us our cant values. So we're transitioning from zero, and this is where we go up to our applied cant. Um, PA is 450. It maintains that 450 throughout this curve. And then it comes down and it transitions back down to an applied cant of zero. Okay, so that's just a very quick example of defining cant and making a simple edit uh, to the cant alignment.